All right, so this is not the kind of thing I usually end up doing on this channel, but I really felt like I wanted to check this out, and I might as well have a camera running while I do it. So, World of Warcraft has launched its latest pre-patch for the Shadowlands expansion. Now, aside from the level crunch and all those kinds of things, one of the big features that's been talked about recently is the inclusion of ray-traced shadows into the game. And I just found where it is in the options, so let's go and check it out. So this is the game in its default state. Now I do see shadows. Like, there's a shadow under this big bastard here. There's a shadow under my character. There's a shadow under his pet. There's a shadow under this person's mount. There are environmental shadows next to the this oversized handrail next to the step. Now, all this stuff is probably, like, either stencil shadows or, say, pre-baked with the environmental shadows. But let's take a look at what happens when we pop on ray-traced shadows. Now, we have three different options here. Fair, which is ray-traced shadows from directional light sources at reduced resolution. Good is ray-traced shadows from directional light and local light sources at reduced resolution. And... High is ray traced shadows from directional light and local light sources at full resolution. Also, just for your information, I am running this game with largely maximum settings on everything at a resolution of 3840x2160 on an NVIDIA RTX 2070. I know it's not the latest bit of hardware out there, but it does a pretty damn good job, and it is capable of RTX ray tracing. That being said, I don't know if World of Warcraft uses something like a uh, DirectX 12 style ray tracing or if it uses NVIDIA's proprietary technology or not. So, at this resolution, with everything turned off, I will get a pretty solid 60 frames per second out of this game. So, let's pop the advanced features on. Fair. Okay, I see a change. Let's, uh, pop it back a fourth a few times. Okay, so. Shadows around the characters got a little bit uh, more defined. I can see them better. Also, the, um... Oh, that looks the same. I saw, like, uh, shadowing, sort of self-shadowing on the environment in a lot more places, like under here, under the handrail where you would have the sunlight coming down, it's casting a shadow. Not the full way across, but in certain areas, like, notice the shadow will disappear when I turn this off. Not an enormous effect, it's not groundbreaking, that's for damn sure. But it definitely adds a little bit of extra, extra visual appeal to the game. Not that I was expecting an enormous change, given how old this game is. But, uh, I mean, it's a, a 16-year-old game, I believe, at this point. So, adding in an advanced graphical feature this late into it, we don't expect to see enormous changes. But that's the minimum setting. Uh, good. Good, that is local and, uh, or... Uh, directional light, which would be like the sun lamp in the sky. As well as um, directional, as local light, so as well as local light sources. So, boom. Did you see a change there? I'm not seeing any change whatsoever. Oh, by the way, uh, fair. Let's take a look at the performance. Get 51 frames per second, 46. Wow, that is bad. Inside the building here, 50 frames per second. Running at a resolution of 3840 by 2160, though, is a little bit high for this game. You don't really need that, so maybe I could turn down the resolution and it works a little bit better. Okay, fair too. Good. I don't see any changes. I mean, at all. Also, running... Oh, I'm at 60 frames per second now. I don't know why. But the 56, 58, 57, 58, okay, maybe that was just a goof. 
Okay, and not only do I, don't, do I not see a change, but the performance doesn't seem to change. So that's local light sources, though. So I guess this torch isn't a local light source. Maybe spell effects. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, hold on. Uh, not seeing any effects here. This guy's uh, this guy's eyeing me up because I'm dressed the same as him. I'm not seeing any effects on him or either, either. I don't know what a local light source is. Like, it looks like there's a local light source around this map. But, uh... What class is this guy? Mage. But whatever. It's distracting me. We look the same, though. We look exactly the same. I'm getting distracted here. I shouldn't allow myself to get distracted. Yeah, now I don't look the same anymore. Okay, I don't know what a local light source is, is in this context. But I can't seem to find one. None of these torches are doing it. Maybe it's in the Shadowlands uh, expansion. The environment is going to, like... I, I'm not going to expect them to go and place every torch in the game and replace them as a local light source. So, maybe there's just none here. And I'll have to get into the Shadowlands expansion. I'm not going to go and download the beta. I'm not I'm not really into that kind of thing. I want to see a completed product, or at least a release product. Anyway. Next up. Hi. Okay, I saw nothing. Let's go outside. Alright, so, yeah, that was a little bit of a change. Like, over here in the stairs are what I can see is the most obvious thing. Okay, so, fair, you got no shadows there. Or, disabled, you got no shadows. Good or fair, you get shadows along side of the step. Hi. Those shadows are a little bit stronger. I guess maybe that's considered better. I don't really see it as being better. Kind of like this better. It looks a little bit real to me. Shadows are a little bit stronger. It says a higher resolution, but I don't see what that higher resolution is. Performance... 44, 45, 44, not terrible for a uh, game like this. I mean, this is not a Twitch-based game. Let's take to the skies. You'd think this thing would have a local light source. Look at it, the blue crap on it. Alright, so frame rate, 40. If I were to turn... Well, hopefully there aren't... When I'm this far away, there aren't any... Shadows being cast. The hell was that? Okay, I saw a little bit of... At a distance, you can see a little bit of a change. 39 frames per second. This area was always a little bit of a wrecker terms of frame rate keep it above 45 though it would fall within the uh, the g-sync uh, so I wouldn't see any frame tearing older sections of the game probably run a little bit better I'm also running at a 4k resolution which is a little bit unnecessary if I were to change the resolution scale maybe I'd get a better uh I mean, maybe... Yeah, it's it's running around 60 now. 
Although it is jumping around a bit, but the resolution scale is ugly. Maybe if I were to turn some uh, anti-aliasing feature on. That smooths that out, but the game is still a little bit muddy. I should try running this on my 2K monitor. It'll probably look a lot better there. But anyway, straight traced shadows. If I were to keep running this, I mean, I do see a little bit of an effect. Not a groundbreaking, life-changing event or uh, effect when it's on low. But medium or high, that's doesn't seem to be really useful at all to me. A little bit of performance hit. 46, although, honestly, as I'm playing it right now, I don't notice it. So, I mean, it might be something that I might just leave on. Hopefully, hopefully in Shadowlands that the effect comes into its own. Because, I mean, it really would if we could have something like a more effective, more effective shadows or those those um, directional light sources, if they could actually become a thing. Because, I mean, it, there's got to be somewhere around here, but I haven't found them yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm a little bit underwhelmed. But uh, it's a thing there. Maybe someday... Maybe someday ray tracing will be the big deal that it keeps being made out to be. Like some games, it looks really nice. Battlefield 5, it looks really nice. Minecraft, even though I don't play Minecraft, it looks like something decent there. But, um, I don't know, the technology, they, it's, I don't think it's so much the hardware technology that needs to advance. It's what the software developers can do with it that needs to get better. And like I said before, this is a very old game, so shoehorning new graphical features and technology into a game this old is a little bit, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever.